Hello dears, welcome to Beauty by Heart. I'm Lily, as soon as Lily. Today, I will be sharing with you dears the Milani Color Fetish Shine Lipsticks Swatches and Review. If you are into moisturizing, shiny, beautiful lipstick, you may like to continue watching. In this video, I'll be doing the swatches and review, and hopefully this video can serve you as a guideline. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you happen to like this video, please consider to subscribe. And for all of you dears who are watching my video right now, thank you so much for watching. It's my blessing to have you dears here. By the end of the video, I would love to hear from you. What is your favorite lipstick color in this video? Thank you so much and now let's get started. This Milani Color Fetish Shine Lipstick is new in Singapore. Recently, I posted in my community tab to chat with you dears if you are interested for me to do the searches and review of these lipsticks. And some of you dears say yes. And so, here I am! They come with two new lipstick range which is firstly this Fetish Shine Lipsticks which we will be doing the swatches and review today and the other one is the Creamy Matte which is the Fetish Matte Lipsticks and surprisingly recently they are very viral in the TikTok. I just bought one to test out and this is in the color Secret. Quite like the formula and I ordered the remaining colors from Watson online. They should be arriving next week so I will be doing another swatches and review after testing them out. So today we will just be doing this fetish shine lipstick swatches and review. And let me start off with the packaging. The packaging over here is quite unique, bold, stylish and stand out from the crowd. It's made out of the plastic material with glossy finish. Glossy probably due to they want to show that this is the shining range. And if you just can see that they are actually filled up with a lot of the small hexagon shapes over here. And initially I thought with all this small hexagon shape, it will prevent the lipstick from rolling all over the place. But I'm wrong. They will still roll all over the place. And the casing also comes with this black belt, not the Taekwondo black belt. Okay, I'm late, I know. But this black belt that is filled with the gold letterings showing the Milani logo. Not sure if you can see because I can't see that in the viewfinder. And the exterior packaging color reflects exactly the lipstick color inside here. Also, when you tilt to the bottom, there's a gold sticker showing you the color name and the color code. For the closure, this is the typical pull up, swivel type, and the click closure type. So make sure you hear the click sound for it to be securely closed. For the lipstick itself, if you can see the tip, this is the slanted oval shape type like this, but this is slanted in a way. Actually, I would still prefer the water drop shape like this, where we can use the sharp point to apply at the precise area like the corner of the mouth and also on the cubic bowl. And with this slanted over shape, it can't do the precision work. And every time when I apply, I have to correct this with a Q-tip or a tissue paper. And for this Milani Color Fetish Shine Lipstick, it has actually a very very light sweet scent. It smells to me like a sweet orange donut. <laughs> I had way too much donuts recently, so that's why it reminded me of donut. <laughs> The scent over here at this new Fetish Shine Lipstick is so much lighter than their previous range which is this Milani Color Statement. This has a strong scent. And when I apply this Fetish Shine Lipsticks on the lips, I don't notice the scent. So I would say that you can only smell the scent when you are not applying but when you apply, there is no scent. Which is quite good to me because I actually prefer fragranceless lipstick. And somehow I realized every time when I apply the lipsticks, it will get stained on the side of the metal cylinder casing. So it can be quite messy at times and I have to wipe it off every time I use it. Because of the highly moisturized lipstick texture, these lipsticks are quite soft. So they will definitely melt under the high temperature. So it will be better if you can store them under a cool dry environment. Like example the fridge. Maloney is sold officially at Watson Singapore both online and in store. 
This Milani Color Fetish Shine Lipstick is sold at $18 each and they are described as Meet your new balm bestie. This medium coverage buildable balm and lipstick in one is made with an 85% blend of nourishing oils for the next level moisture and shine that glides on effortlessly. The 100% vegan formula combines the rich hydration of a balm, the buildable color of a lipstick and the shine of a gloss in one product you are going to want to keep on repeat. These lipsticks are all vegan, cruelty free and made in USA. At Watson, there are only 6 colors available right now and I bought them all. On Milani US website, there are a total of 12 colors under this range. Not sure where Watson Singapore brings in the remaining colors later. For my user experience, I am really liking them. They are very moisturizing. We can skip the lip balm before we use them. This Milani Color Fetish Shine Lipstick smoothens my lip texture and lines. They are so shiny and they make my lips look so juicy. They make my lips also very comfortable, not sticky and no funny strings for me. These lipsticks have sheer texture with a medium buildable coverage. As you just probably can see, I keep layering them to build up the opacity. Being so moisturizing, it is inevitable for the colors to fade after a few hours especially for the lighter shades. But they fade graciously and not patchy. As for the brighter and darker shades, they are slightly more long lasting than the lighter ones and these darker, brighter shades will also stain a little on the lips. And these lipsticks are easily removable. Here I'm using just a wet tissue and all of them are removed. These Milani Color Fetish Shine lipsticks are definitely transferable. And will also transfer over to the surgical mask. At the same time, they can't last through a meal too. Whenever I want to wear these fetish shine lipsticks under the mask, I'll remove the excess so that they won't stain the mask and smudge all over our lips. So conclusion, are they worth buying? I would say yes, this Milani Color Fetish Shine Lipsticks is definitely worth the purchase, especially for you dears who are into a good moisturizing drugstore lipstick. I hope that this video is helpful for you and now dears, it's your turn to share with me. What is your favorite color lipstick in this video? Please comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much. And last but not least, here's an inner beauty tip for us to be more beautiful and more wise. Lipstick can't solve all the problems, but it's a pretty good start. Thank you dear so much for watching. If you happen to like this video, please consider to subscribe and click the bell notification button below for my future videos. I like to do beauty products review and also the duping the newly released eyeshadow palettes to see if the color story suits my taste and where I reach for the palettes more often. And if this is a cup of tea, please join in my YouTube family. Also, if you'd like to connect with me more, please visit me at my Instagram and Facebook platform. The address will be over here on the screen. May you dears have a peaceful, blissful and joyful week ahead. See you next time. Bye! And before we go, please check out these two videos over here. Thank you!